Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Vlogmas Day 6 and I figured today I would just show you guys my everyday makeup. Also, sorry that there was no Vlogmas Day 5. I was feeling super sick and overwhelmed yesterday and I was like, I'm not even gonna put myself through it, but it's a new day and we're gonna get, we're gonna get cute, so join me. I'm gonna clip up these hairs. Alright, so as you guys know, I always start off with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I use the shade Deep. I've been using this forever. That's why it's super done. And I apply it to all my problem areas. I've got a lot of acne scars. So we're just gonna fill those in. <laughs> buff in that concealer, I just use my Morphe M439 brush. And then after my concealer, I take my NARS foundation in the shade Carcass. Carcass? I have no idea. And I just use that same M439 brush. So after blending in my foundation, I use the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade Deep Olive. So I just put it in the very corner of my under eye and then I like wing it up. And then I just use this super old beauty blender that I've been using in all my makeup tutorials because it still works for you girl. So they match. I go in with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Deep Honey. And I contour with this bad boy. And then I also do like my nose. We use that same beauty blender to blend that out. I just used the Laura Mercier translucent powder and then this really small beauty blender that I got from like TJ Maxx. And then after that, I take this gigantic powder brush from Real Techniques. And I just use the excess powder from the lid of my translucent powder. And I just kind of set my entire face. And then I dust off the translucent powder. I don't like to leave it on for too long. I feel like it makes me look more cakey than if I were to like let it bake. But I do like a matte finish, so. <laughs> I go in and I contour my face with this NYX Three Steps to Sculpt palette in the shade Deep. And then I use my Morphe M438 brush. This is obviously way too dark for me to contour, but I use it anyway, because it's a pandemic. And I like the snatched contour look. And I take this really small angle brush, go style. And I contour my actual nose. And then I just take this fluffy blush brush from Real Techniques and I just kind of blend everything in so it doesn't look so harsh. Oddly enough, I take this um, Scarlet Dusk palette. It's an eyeshadow palette, but I actually use um, these two colors for blush. And then I just use this blush brush from Eco Tools as well. And I just 
dab it. And I just have like that pinkish rosy color. So now that I'm drowned in blush, I go in with my, it's my Ray Ray palette and I just take this control free color and I use that for eyeshadow. I just try to do like the cat. Trust the process, I promise. And then I just do my bottom. We're just gonna take the same puffy brush from Real Techniques and we're just gonna blend. Now I go back to that NYX palette and I just take the highlight color that it comes with. And then from the It's My Ray Ray palette, I take the radiant color in the middle and I just mix them together. And then I just blend everything out. And then for my eyebrows, I use a two-in-one from NYX and I use the color Espresso. And then I use this NYX eyebrow powder with just this NYX brush as well and I just fill them in with both shades. It's like a super dark brown and then like a normal brown. take this brow gel called Brow or Never. And then I move on to lips. I use Anastasia in the color Maud, M-A-U-D-E, and then I use a NYX lip liner in Spicy. Can you leave with me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Drive safe. mascara I use voluminous from L'Oreal and I will show you guys the ending when I'm done so this is the end result literally the makeup you guys see in all of my videos I hope you guys enjoyed today's video happy vlogmas day six and I will see you again in tomorrow's video bye I'm so down. Thank you. Mind your business. What are you doing? You're being a creep. I need to not be ugly. Literally. I totally just messed up. What a calm. Oh. This is the behind the scenes. This is the the truth.